Okay, so today we're going to do an example of a pick list. So we're going to look at an existing dimension that we have here called this one's D measure input. Uh, we're going to have an input element of type simple, which is going to be a number. We're also going to track a note, a count, and department. Those are all going to be strings. And we're going to tie a pick list to department and account. So those ones are set. And we want to look and see if we have a line item. We, we're going to, we don't have a line item dimension just yet, so we're going to create one. So let's do create an all consolidated item first. And then below that, we're going to create a couple of children. We could create a whole bunch, but let's just create five maybe to start. We can just add a few more if we need more. Let's save this as d.line item. And we already have a cube that has our. Oh, maybe we don't. We don't have this cube. So we're going to create a cube called c.input. And I'll just call it test for now. I have to pick some dimensions. So we'll pick year and period. We get our measure of, where is it? Uh, measure input and also line item. So we'll pick our properties. So the measures dimension is the one with the measures in the, in the, in the title. Our period dimension will be time. Now we'll create our cube. So now we have our input test cube. So we see a bunch of line items. Oh, I think I meant to put time in here, but we'll pretend that it was supposed to be time. And right now I could type in stuff into these cells, but that's not really what I want to do. I want this to be a drop down so that I can only pick valid departments and accounts. And then in note field, I can just type whatever I want. And then in the input field, I can't type any text because it has to be a number. So I want that to be numbers that folks can enter. So let's just save a default view. And now let's look at the pick list piece. So for this, we're going to look at the measure dimension that we have, and we're going to go to the edit the element attributes. Now let's make it just a touch bigger so we can see we have our different elements here. I'm going to create a new uh, attribute called pick list, and it has to be called exactly pick list, has to, and it has to be of type text. So those are two important pieces. And now I can say, well, for department, I want to create a subset pick list in the department, d.department dimension. And the name of my subset is s.department.leaf. That may or may not be the right name, but let's give it a shot and see. So now if I go back to my view, refresh my view, I don't see anything here. That means that I must have got the name of the view wrong. So I'm going to go back to my, my department dimension. I'm going to look at my list of subsets. And I see there's one here called s.department.nlevel. So I think that's the one I wanted to use. So I'll go back into D measure input, into the attributes here. Just adjust this to say n level. Now if I go to my view, you'll notice that I have a little arrow on these cells here. Uh, when I drop, click the arrow, I can see a listing of all of them. If I type in a number, it's going to zoom down to that thing. It, only, it doesn't look for in. It only looks for starting with. So if I said SCU 8, SCU 8, uh, no, 
It's not good. Oh, it's only going to do the first character, I guess. So uh, here in Architect, it just does the first character. So when I click S, it's going to zip down to S. Now, what about the account? So account doesn't have anything yet. So let's go back to the same spot, the attributes on measure input. And for the account, let's use a subset in our d.account dimension called s.account.nLevel. See if we're consistent, we use the same thing. Go back to our view. Oh, there it is. So now we have a drop down with all of our accounts. Uh, what if I wanted to get creative and say I want to type in the account 9999999? Nope, I can't do that. So it will block me from entering anything that's not in the, the approved list. Um, and now I have, I can pick my department. I can pick my account, I can put in a note, the note's still going to be free form. I can put in a number here for my input, and this would be, I've already saved the view as a default view.